Okay, we're ready to move on. And we're going to be doing the stern. Let's see the decks on the stern. And let's see. You can see we're going to start with piece 21. And you can see pieces 20 that go on either side of the ship and attach to the hull. Um, let's see. We've got 22. We've got section 24 and section 23. So there are a lot of um, the deck plates that are going to go on the stern section. And you can see that's where we're going to put the flag pole in. And we're going to put the flag. And there are more cranes that are going to require rigging um, that go on top. And you can see the cranes. And this is what we're going to be using. You can see the decks and these sections of the hull. Um, we're going to drill out all the holes. And this is actually going to go right in there along that. So I wanted to show you guys all the pieces that are needed for the stern section. And what we're going to first start doing is we're going to paint. We're going to put the white. Because if you guys remember, we had already done the silver that goes on the back to kind of reflect the light back down. Um, before we move on to that, though, I want to do a couple of corrections for you guys. My friend Alan, um, he's a really big United States enthusiast, and he um, told me I had a couple of issues that I had done wrong on the bow section. Um, one thing, this area right here, it's called the forecastle deck, and what I've been calling the cranes um, he's said are the king posts. So the forecastle deck with the king post um, with the lighting on it. He also told me that I had done the rafts wrong. You see how I put them yellow? I had wanted them to stick out. And when I looked at the photographs, I couldn't find any color photos. And he said that they were white. Um, but I decided I'll just keep them yellow because I like the way it's the contrast, the way it stands out. And he told me that I had gotten hatch covers wrong. Um, that they're supposed to be all gray. Um, but I, I kind of like the contrast. I might do it the correct way, and I might just leave it like this. We'll see. And lastly, he told me that I put the, um, the decals in the wrong spot, that it was too high. Sadly, um, I had known that, but I had already drilled, unfortunately, and I couldn't put the, um, the words over a porthole, so that's why they're a little bit high. Um, but now I know this is the forecastle deck, and these are the king posts. And we put lights on the king posts. So we're ready to move on, and we're going to do the same thing for the for the uh, the deck that's at the stern. And I think it's the top part. It's either this part or the other part. You can actually see. I don't know if they're called king posts in the back. Well, you can see again, they've got the rigging that are on it, and we're going to put lights on those just like we did in the front. But that's going to be a little bit in the future. The first thing we have to do is we actually have to paint. So we're going to put white just like we did for the bow section, or excuse me, the forecastle deck. Yeah, um, one of the issues I'm having is the United States had like three tennis courts. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on the camera. Um, there is no decals that came with this kit for the tennis court. So I'm wondering how I'm going to do this. Um, if it's white and I just kind of try to do the insides just enough, um, I might be able to do that without decals. But we'll see when we get to that. Um, I know one of them were blue. The tennis courts, let's see, they had one amidship, and I believe that one was green. And they had one all the way at the stern, and they had one up um, behind the funnel. I think that one was blue, but again, we'll, we'll get to that. But the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to put a base coat. We're going to start with a little bit of paint, and we're going to paint the white. And we're going to be using the project source. And again, 
We would never want to do this inside the house, but because it's like below zero outside here in New England, um, this is going to be just a quick spray. This isn't going to really be a, you know, heavy duty. Okay, so it's had some time to dry. And you can see the paint didn't do a whole lot. It's probably because it's that cheaper kind of paint. I just didn't want it to gob on. <clears throat> so it did coat it a little bit. But we're still going to do the testers around the edge. And we're going to do the decks and the staircase. And we're going to do the tennis court. <laughs> You can see this is another piece that's going to go on the back. You can see some of the life rafts and looks like the generators. And let's see, we got a deck that has just looks like a tennis court. And I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if that's a swimming pool or probably not. They probably wouldn't put that right near the tennis court, would they? And then we get the panels that go in the back. You can see it was painted, but we're still going to put the silver on the back and we're going to do another coat of the testers, the white. And first thing we got to do is we got to drill out the, uh, the little portholes. You can see in the back of the ship there's a little arch. And that's exactly where they're going to go. Just like that. And the end piece is actually going to be where this is going to rest. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and we're going to drill. You remember we got our little handheld drill. And let's see, we got some at the end over here. So let's start. Make sure you guys can see that. That's looking pretty good. Let me show you guys the whole reason we're doing that. It's going to look a lot better.
Okay, so we got all of the portholes drilled out. And if you're wondering why there seem to be more windows, <clears throat> all right, so this will be the port. There are more windows on the starboard piece. You can see in the back section, there are two more um, portholes on top. And this would be, yeah, the port. There's two more on the starboard section that were molded into the plastic and there's two missing from this side, but that's good. So now what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna paint on the silver backing. Okay, so when you can, we're gonna paint the inside you can see that's going to be the outside of the ship and you can tell by the little tabs because the tabs are going to go just behind the panel to hold it in place against the hull so we want to paint it just like that we don't have to really saturate it just enough to get it to cover the piece yeah like i said just enough just to cover it it doesn't have to be a thick heavy coat just enough to reflect the light that's going to be inside of the be showing ship. all the way at the stern. And we did spray the top white and the sides. But we're going to be doing the, uh, the white. We're going to be putting the testers white on and it's going to look just like this. You guys remember when we had done the bow. The way the paint looks. It almost looks like... Um, the way it would look if it's painted on steel. So maybe that was a good thing, um, having to paint and use paint other than the spray paint. Anyway, that's what the, uh, the back is gonna look like. So we'll be using the green and we're gonna put the deck in, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna paint the, uh, the tennis court. And that's going to be a different green than a deck green. So we'll get to that. But right now I'm going to paint the deck around the tennis court and around the, the hand railing. All right, and I need my, <laughs> my blind glasses. I may look like the ultimate geek, but I'll tell you what, these really help. So I did around the tennis court. And again, that's going to be a different color. So we'll take care of that when the paint's dry.
Here we go. You see, we got the deck pretty much that green. We got it colored and we're ready to paint the staircases and the rails. Let's see if there are different colors I gotta check. Now we're gonna do a different color for the uh, tennis court. All right, so let's take a look. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna concentrate on this section and this section in this video and we'll get those done. And that'll be the base and then we can move on. But for the most part, I wanna get the stern section on with these panels on the end of the ship. So, <clears throat> we've got this painted. So what we go ahead, we gotta go ahead now and wait for it to dry. We have kind of an olive green. And what is this? Medium green. Now I was wondering what I would have been able to use this for. Okay, so we had some time to dry. You can see. The staircase is ready to be painted, and so is the uh, tennis court. Now, you guys may remember that one of the teeth on the back was broken. What I actually did was I glued a small piece of wire that I had to the area. And I don't know if you can see that, but when I paint it, it's going to be it, uh, fill the gap pretty nicely. So, what we're going to do now is I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the staircases. We can use a pencil. I don't know if a pencil will work, but just to put on that light, that light gray. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up for you guys, but I think that looks pretty good. All right, so that was that was quick. And that was easy. Green. This is going to be for the deck. Ah, here it is. And this is going to be medium green. All right. This one. And let's do the painting of the tennis court. Hopefully when it dries, it'll be a little more distinguished and green. So let's wait for that to dry. Um, there's a flag, as you can see, that goes on the end. All right, so. Let's see if we can find the flag. Up oh, here it is. See if you guys can see that. You can see the flag that's going to go on. And you can see it's going to wrap around the pole and it's going to look like it's waving. I'm gonna go just like this. So what we're gonna do Let's is see. we're gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of the glue and we're gonna kind of smear it on the flag. 
All right, Let's see, we got some glue. And we're gonna put the glue on the flag, just like that. There we go. That looks pretty good. I just gotta make sure that it stays now. And we'll wait for that to dry. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the pole um, silver. It says that, let's see. It says in the instruction sheet that the top of the pole, the flagpole is tan. So I don't know if the whole thing is tan. Let's see. Let's go over to part 33. And that's the flag. And we're going to look for some pictures and see what color it is. I think it's silver, um, but the instructions call for tan, so we'll see. But we got a little while before that dries, and we can check that out. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to the white And parts. one of the other problems that I'm having is I don't know how I'm going to quite do the, uh, the lines on a tennis court. I got a few ideas, but we'll see. But what we're going to do now is we're going to do the paint. We're going to do the testers paint around there, just like we did on the bow section, but we're going to do it before it goes on the bow. And we've already painted this side silver, so we're going to go to this side and we're going to do the paint. Let's start with this section, the little piece of wire that I put in. see all the teeth are in and that little quick fix you can see the back of the green one and that's the one that I fixed so that's all set to put on so now we've got the white section is all set and the only thing we really got to do is put the flag on the panel All right, let's put a little bit of silver on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it by the flag. And I'll just put some, just a little bit. Yeah, we don't need a whole lot. All right, let's, that, let's uh, get that to dry. All right, so the pieces had some time to dry, 
and we'll put this aside for a second. You can see it's all set to go. The back has got the uh, the reflective paint, and then it should be pretty good light block. It's gonna go just like that. So the little curves are gonna line up. Just like that. And then the little tabs are gonna go on the other side of the hull. Put some on the You wanna see, you wanna get a, a nice snug fit into that little, this is a really weird, um, very awkward to put this <laughs> to put this in. You see, eventually it's going to set. Um, and we're going to try to get it lined up just like that. You can see both sides. So let's go ahead, and what we're going to do now is we're going to position this one. I think actually what I'm going to do is let this dry first. But let me light it up to show you guys what it's going to look like. So you can see the light leak isn't bad on the white part. Um, it's too bad about that little section, but um, it was worth it drilling out all the holes because that's going to look really nice. Let me show you the other side. Just like that. All right, let's show you. This is all had overnight time to dry. That was a good thing painting it before we put it on because you can see there's a lot of shop lines. And for the light leak, it shouldn't really be that bad. You guys can can see it's it's good because we have the the inner coat of the silver paint and we got the outer coat of the spray paint plus we put um, a coat of the testers all right so let's put on the stern section itself and then we can put some inside this little groove And it's going to kind of hear that little click. Now let's see if that's pushed in all the way. There, I think that's a little bit better. You guys can see. There is a little bit of separation, but that's no big deal. What we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of the putty and that'll close that gap up nicely. Okay, so this is in and that's all ready. So let's try to see what the light block is looking like. So that's pretty good. Look at that. We did a good job blocking the light. That little area is where the flagpole is gonna go. Can see the um, portholes on the stern and the uh, the section. And like I said, we're going to put a little bit of the the um. I like to use the perfect plastic. Where pipe. is that? I think that's over here. It's so tiny. A tiny little flag. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some glue. Just like that. And hopefully I don't need to drill or anything. Wow, nope, that went in perfectly. Look at that. Let me show you the other side.
Nice. So basically, the last thing we got to do is we're going to put some putty in the cracks. Okay, so it's a little more solid now. You can see it's had time to dry. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get some perfect plastic putty. All right, I'm going to use a, a damp dishcloth that I ran under warm water and I wrung out really well. What I want to do is just get the section of the ship first, the black section of the hull. And then we can you see we can kind of fill the top just to smooth it out okay so let's touch it up we're going to use some white paint let's open up the um, that'll be like one of the finishing touches that we do for the entire model you can see the, the stern the gaps are filled in And you can see the deck is painted. It's uh, everything is in. The flag is in. The um, the uh, tennis court is painted. And we're ready to move on. She's starting to take shape, guys. So let me put this off. So we're pretty much finished. This is the stern section. We got the stern deck. And let me show you guys how it's going to look when we put the other parts together. Now with these, I think these are going to go right here, just like that. And then she really start to look like she's coming together. But that's another video. I don't want to make them too long. The last one for the bow was really long. So, my friends, I thank you for watching. And until we do our next section, the next section will be the aft end, um, the decks that are going to mount up. And we'll have something to put the, uh, the midship plates to. So, I thank you for watching, my friends. And I'll see you very soon. Thank you.